Okay, so uh, more in this left hand and right hand technique thing with the chromatic scale. Uh, your left hand is going to do the one fret per finger rule with your fingertips just behind the strings. And your right hand should be anchored and alternating uh, when you're doing this. Remember again when I was picking that only down strokes as fast as I could and then I want to alternate, that's, that's faster. And we want to do that because it's more efficient. Uh, and the rule again is when you're doing single notes you should be anchored. Even uh, and when you're doing chords, then, then we're going to float. We're going to float around. Single notes, we anchor. So let's say you have a song that has both single notes uh, and chords. Then you're going to be alternating back and forth between anchored and alternator. And an anchored, an anchored and floating, excuse me. For instance, uh, like here. Watch, every time the single notes come, I anchor. And the chords come, I'll float. So, anchor, float, anchor, float, anchor, float, anchor, float, anchor, float, anchor. So you see, every time those single notes came, I anchored and float for the chords. Anchor. So that's our rule. Uh, even when you have chords that you're picking the notes out one at a time doing arpeggios, it's single notes. So you want the rule is to anchor. So like. You see those, I'm playing chords, but I'm picking them out one at a time. I'm playing a broken chord. I'm a, doing arpeggios with the chord of picking the notes one at a time. So we want to anchor for that. If I was strumming it, then I'll float. So again, I'm going to recap that. That's pretty much our rule. Uh, left hand, right hand technique when you're trying to do this chromatic scale. Uh, you're not only working on trying to memorize the names of the notes, but you're also working your left hand and your right hand technique, doing uh, with the left hand the one fret per finger rule, fingertips just behind your fret, right hand anchored, holding your pick correctly, one finger in the thumb, not two fingers in the thumb, one finger in the thumb, just a little bit of that pick sticking now, not a lot of it, we don't want this, we're not asking for trouble, we're going to lose our pick, just a little bit of it sticking out. So right hand technique is holding the pick correctly, one finger and thumb, anchored and alternating. So you're really multifunctioning because you've got to worry, be thinking about your left hand technique, thinking about your right hand technique, and thinking about what it is that you're playing. Working on slowly memorizing the chromatic scale plus memorizing, oh hey, I remember there's a G, sixth string, third fret, there's a G note. And, and I remember up here at the sixth string, fifth fret, I remember that was an A. And after a while you just start learning the notes everywhere. You'll, in time, you'll, you'll know every single one of them, no matter where you go. Alright, now uh, that finishes our lesson on the chromatic scale. I hope that really helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.